Love it. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do another Medieval Combat review. This one's by request. It's, uh, uh, this is a 2009 fight between Duke Branos on the left of the West and Duke Logan of the Mid-Realm on the right. So this was a request for us to review. Um, I'm uh, Sir Avery from Kaid. Sir Baird from Kaid. I'm Lynn from Kaid. Bjorn Zemphir from Kaid. So we're going we're gonna to take a look at this. This is SCA Combat, a hard blow to the head or body kills, a hard blow to the arm or leg disables that uh, limb, and uh, you're invulnerable from the knee down and the wrist up. So let's take a look. We're going to watch most of this fight. Uh, we're going to watch the first few fat passes at speed. Then we'll go back and we'll talk about the individual mechanics. These guys are both very top-tier fighters. Even nine years later, this is some incredible fighting. So right off, they're both right-handed. They have different shield styles. I noticed right away that um, Duke Logan's shield position is a little different than a lot of guys with heaters. He's got that forward point of the heater tipped down. It's obviously not a problem for him. He's blocking with that back corner. What do you guys think? Do you see that much? No. Mm. Um, usually it's a, a point of the shield on the shoulder. He's more flat. and um, But he's at range too. So I've seen flat when you're at range and then on the shoulder. It just He seems so vulnerable on the head. You see those flat snaps by Branos. It looks so close to the head. Yeah, and it, it, it's one thing that off the shield a little bit, but seriously, it's really, really close. He's playing he, it really, really close. And you see Branos firing for that offside leg, which is open as well. Yeah, but Logan's just like blocking very precisely. It feels like a couple inches less on those blocks, and they'd be landing. Yes, yeah, totally. So I wonder if it's a bait. It might be. Um, you present the openings you want people to strike, so you're able to block them better. I mean, it's a, a a strategy. Mm hmm I, I, I would love to hear him describe why he's got the shield that way. He's obviously a top-tier fighter, so he's got good reasons. You know, for a center grip fighter, you see, Branos' shield position is a little bit more typical. So that's a fight, and ultimately Branos is able to speed that shot in at range along that angle we were talking about. So if we go back, and we watch a few of the exchanges. We'll do them in slow motion, and then we can go frame by frame to talk about the mechanics. Because these guys have really minimal, very fast mechanics. It looks like they're throwing with power as well. So, um, which, Also, I should say, this video is taken off of YouTube, so uh, I'll try to link to the YouTube that this came from. So in slow motion, they both got hand forward position, especially Brano says what I'm, I call the boxer style. So he throws that shot with power. And that's, that's tricky for me to throw a shot like that with power. A lot of people do a little sort of uh, a teardrop motion with a circle, uh, a circle of the, the sword tip to generate a little bit of power. Um, so let's take, a look at, let's take a look at how he throws that, right? So if we go watch the sword tip, doesn't really do much of a circle beforehand, does it? Not like the arrow I've drawn up yeah. there. There's just a little bit of a bobble. So he's actually driving that power, I think, a little bit by kicking that leg back? I don't know. What do you guys think? This leg coming back seems to do some of it. I think it's the leg. It's also uh, the way his forearm and his grip changes. You can see that he tightens his grip at the very end, giving him that last, the final pop. So you think he's, he's squeezing with yes. the hand to get the power? Yes. As well, and, you know, that forearm is giving him that power at the end. And you can also it's not see my preferred method of power, but some people can get really a nice knock with it. So you can see him adjust his grip. Yeah, yeah. Back it up. And then the other thing to call out here, oops, is look at how. I mean, it's a pretty blurry video, but if you look at how precise that block is, yes, yeah, like, mm. just on the and he's <laughs> and not a lot of guys black with, block with that back corner of the heater like that. A lot of guys will block differently. But he can see everything yeah. and block at the same time. Often we over block everything because we don't want to be hit. Mm -hmm. He's blocking first so precisely that you can block just a little and still get all the vision you need. Mm -hmm. And the other thing here is, you know, in a lot of shots, what someone would be able to do if it's, if it's such a minor block is change the angle a little bit, get a little further. 
But with the way that Branos has thrown this shot, there's really no way for him to make that a deeper angle around that shield. Right? It's not like a wrap that you can sort of... No. And also, standing on that front leg like that, he can't fade forward either. All he could maybe do is lean further with the body, so he ends up at an angle like that or something, as opposed to this. But that's really going to leave him off balance. So I think Logan's really calculating in this. And, and again, we're talking... What is this? From here... One, two, three, four, five frames. Yeah. At 30 frames a second, so a sixth of a second, right? So that's, that's lightning quick, and he's blocked it precisely. I know I can't throw that shot with power. That's a kind of a traditional snap, and, and, and Branos voids that as opposed to blocking it. To the same degree, right? Brennan's is using like an A-frame defense. Trying to keep everything kind of forward. He, there he goes again, exact same motion. Kind right. of leaning forward. And we can't really see his feet, but again, it's a, it's a lean. This time, you see he takes a little bit of a shuffle step forward first, but again, he stands up on his left leg, lifts his right leg off the ground and puts it behind him. And then he uses and gets his a lean. forearm to try to give him that last snap to try to give him power at the end. And this one looks like it actually gets over the top edge of the shield, but it's just not quite in range. Yeah. yeah it's it looks like totally it just, far extended. Yeah, and it looks like it only kind of connects with this kind of like upper left side, and not like it's just the far tip of his sword and doesn't really do a whole bunch to it or anything. And then, the, to me, the other thing to point out is he starts with his leg in this position... He ends up kicking it back to that position, but because he's extended forward, not like the first shot, he's comfortable crossing and landing with it there. But it also allows him with defense. By putting it, ending in that position, he has a really good defense for any flat snap coming off, or if he sees something offside, he can pop his shield over. So it, it, it's a very good defensible position as well. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'm seeing that Logan might be able to do to capitalize at this point is perhaps a leg shot. But he might see it coming straight down if he does an off leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I would be tempted. I mean, these guys are moving so fast. I would be tempted to throw the onside leg shallow inside the, the edge of that teardrop, but I don't know. Not a, lot, not a lot open as a result of that move. Yeah, I think that Branos thinks that he can adjust his block if he sees any blow coming. At that point, mm-hmm. he's kind of in a spot of like, okay, I can do basically whatever I need to do, depending on where his sh- where his sword goes. Mm-hmm. I think you're right. And then in this case, he throws a he sees that other opening. So we talked about how um, Logan's shield is at this angle, whereas on most of the most fighters, you see it at this angle yes. instead, right? So I think the other opening that we talked about, we said that, you know, the temptation is to throw at this opening because you've got this nice line that a right-hander can throw down. And you've got this nice line you can throw, so there's an opening in this leg here. Yeah. And this is where we see Branos throw for that leg, right? And he's got a really interesting throw for it. From that forward boxer position, that A-frame, pops the hand up. And in this case, I think he is doing a teardrop to get the power. If you look at the tip of the sword... It describes a little bit of motion before. I don't know if this is how he's generating his power, but that's my guess. See that bit of motion there? There's a whip, and then he translates it into like a figure eight. Yeah. Sort of like a double whip on the way down and throws in. Now, at this point, I'm not sure if it blocks off the shield or if it's because the leg is at that angle. It sort of skips because yeah. Logan's ducked down. So it's at the very end of the, of the sword. Yeah. And there's not a lot of room around that shield edge, so if it had been able to go deeper, maybe it would have bit, but it didn't, right? But still, pretty incredible offside to throw without more English on it, without more wind-up. Yeah, Sir Hell, you would call that stir the bucket. Stir the bucket, stir yeah. Stir the bucket, because you're stirring, and then that stir allows that motion to throw. You get that circular motion yes. with the hand or the tip or both, yes. and you see him actually, he circles it twice on the way into delivering the offside. I imagine there's a whole bunch of blinking happening here. Because <laughs> if they blinked earlier, one of them would have died. And I think this is where we see 
That's just an amazing... Um, when people try to throw that shot and it doesn't work like five times, six times, they stop. But Branos keeps on throwing that shot until he finally gets the right angle or the right timing so he can hit Logan. So this is the second time he throws the onside. And you see Logan's sword block is so minor, but it, it's basket and blade, like barely moves. If you take a look at the section that's blocking here, look at how small his block motion is. There. Yep. That's it. A couple inches. I mean, that's important to show new fighters and intermediate fighters or even advanced fighters that um, conservation of motion is very important in yeah. fighting. If you can do small, minute movements and still preserve your vision, you should do it. And that's what Logan is showing, is that small, tiny blocks, while he can see everything, is better can we see that same offside leg? Yeah. See, now here, Logan's got that sword block down the side. You can tell it looks like neither of them really want to fight at A range with each other, but Logan's the one who's walking into it. He almost threw. Logan almost threw there. He stopped. At speed, that block from Branos looks so fast. He goes... From there to here, super quick. So he doesn't leave that hanging sword block there long, because he knows that's not a great position to get stuck in, but it's very fast. It's almost like to get the blow there, you have to almost throw a... Sh or to get the block there, you almost have to throw a shot. And here's the, here's the offside, just to keep him... I think that's to keep him honest. He's saying that was wrist, maybe, or that hit my basket. Is where, is, is that where he... That's it. Him? So it's that same shot we've seen twice already. Well, more than that. He's thrown it many times, but this time he does... Does he throw it so, so if you look at his feet first, he takes a back step, rocks, and then does... He slides... It looks like he slides... So he does the same thing lifting his right leg up as a cantilever, but he's stepped back a couple times and shuffled a little bit. You see his sword moving a little bit and his shield moving a little bit, and maybe that's what, if you look, Duke Logan is opening his sword and shield there. He still slides his he's... right leg back, which is very similar to what he's been doing, but he is closer because of how he shuffled at the beginning, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, he squares up his shield as opposed to in the past where he kind of, he's kind of tilted that angle up a little bit in the back. It is very it similar. It's a lot more flat. Now. Yeah, but it's very similar to what he's been throwing in the past. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think what happens here is that either Logan has gotten so close to not quite blocking those and this one was just... But if you look, it's not like it... It, it looks like this one caught Duke Logan flat-footed a little... Or maybe not flat-footed, but you don't see him blocking it. He's moving his feet there. Ah, uh, I think you're right. moving his feet. So I think what happened in this case, I think you're right. So if we, you're absolutely right. I bet that's it. So the previous times that Logan was able to avoid this shot with a really minor block, he was stationary. This time he takes a left-hand step with his foot, which means... to get a better angle for his offense. So if you, and right here you see him step, upper. and that's why he doesn't get the block. Yes. I think you're right there. So it's just a matter of... He needed, with how fast Branos is throwing, maybe, he needed, Duke Logan needed all of his defensive capabilities in place. And the moment he took that lateral step, he couldn't get his, that perfect surgical block that he had before. And I'm sure Logan was thinking, I'm going to take a step so I can get my angle on him for offense. But Logan, this whole time, has really not been... Offense related. He's been defense. As soon as he went offense there, it screwed him up. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, we'll stitch those together and we'll get yeah. that online. Thanks for the recommendation. Um, hopefully, this analysis was interesting to folks. Congrats to two awesome fighters. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs>